We're going to begin by adding masking tape to our canvas. Place a strip along the top, bottom, and side edges. Next, we're going to lay a sheet of carbon paper or graphite paper on top of our canvas, making sure to place the shiny side down. You can find carbon or graphite paper at your local office supply store or by using the affiliate link below. Lay your traceable on top of the graphite paper and make sure both are centered on your canvas. Secure them with a bit of masking tape on each side. Then, take a basic ballpoint pen and begin tracing around the image. You want to press firmly, but not so much as to tear the paper or damage the canvas beneath. Carefully peel off the carbon paper and the stencil. Your canvas should look like this. Now we're ready to paint. We're going to begin with plain white and a light pink. Take a small narrow brush, load it with white, and fill in the large part of Betty's eyes. Next, fill in the word bubble in the upper left corner. Don't forget the two tiny bubbles below it. Now using the same brush, mix a bit of pink into the white until you get a really pale pink. Fill in Betty's face with this color. Next, fill in her chest, arms, and hands. Take a small clean brush, dip it into some golden yellow, and fill in both of Betty's earrings and bangles. Here's a fun fact. Those earrings used to actually be Betty's ears. That's right. Betty Boop used to be a cartoon dog. She was later transitioned into a human, and her droopy dog ears were changed into earrings. Now we're ready to grab a small clean brush and load it with bright red. Fill in Betty's dress with this color. Don't forget her iconic pouty lips. Next, take a clean angled brush and begin filling in all the large areas around Betty with a light teal. This is the background. I like to fill in the large areas with a wide brush and then go back in with a small angled brush. Take your time and turn the canvas around if needed. Now we're going to mix a little bit of that teal with some white until we get a pale blue. Using a narrow angled brush, paint a thick line just outside of Betty's pupil. This line will be about a quarter inch thick and will cover a bit of the white we painted earlier. This will be her iris. Do the same for her other eye. Load a clean brush with black paint and fill in Betty's hair. Take a very thin round brush and trace over Betty's eyebrows and the circles around her eyes. Then, fill in her lashes and pupils. Using that same thin round brush, trace around her face, body, and jewelry.
Next, trace around the word bubble and then add the words inside. Now you can stop right there and be done with your painting, but if you want to add that extra comic book look to it, take the back of your brush, dip it in bright red, and then add dots to all the pink areas of Betty. This can take a bit of time and patience, but it's well worth it in the end. Finally, add a touch of white to Betty's bottom lip for some shine. Now it's time to remove the tape. Don't forget to sign and date your painting. Here's our Betty Boot painting hanging on a wall. Doesn't she look great? 